Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, radio check and verify TV circuit breaker in. And we're getting a picture on the TV. Okay. You got a good picture, huh? That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. I think space travel is important sort of on two levels. At its core, it's a technology problem, and many of the great technologies of today are artifacts of the space program. Lightweight plastics, lightweight but incredibly strong metals came from aerospace and space programs. But beyond the technology, I think it's a human thing for us to want to explore, for us to want to do difficult things. And so the space program has always been about exploration, learning about not only our world, but the environment and the universe that we live in. So I think it's fundamental to the human spirit. We at IBM are very proud of our history with the space program, all the way from the early days of working with the Department of Defense and some of the first satellites that were put into space through the Mercury, Gemini programs, and of course into the Apollo program, culminating in putting a man on the moon. IBM, through the course of the Apollo program, had over 4,000 IBMers working on that program, developing the computer systems, writing the software, present in the control centers. We were responsible for writing the control programs for the rocket uh, telemetry and trajectory, we were responsible for the computing and sensing of the behavior of the rockets and the capsule as it was launched and as it was guided into orbit and then out of orbit, and then sensing the capsule information and bringing it back and making course corrections uh, as we went through. As amazing as the technology seemed at the time, and it was very advanced, relative to today, uh, there's almost no comparison. So when you think about the technology of the 1960s, you're talking about something that looked like this, this little piece of ceramic with just two transistors on it. Fast forward to the technology of today, this is the technology that's powering IBM's largest supercomputers. In fact, the two largest supercomputers in the world. This has two transistors on it. This has eight billion transistors on it. So while this put a man on the moon, this is tackling some of the biggest problems in the world today. More efficient sources of energy, understanding what's going on in climate change, getting to the root cause of some of the most disastrous diseases on the planet, such as cancer. Those are the moonshots of today right here on Earth. And those are all programs that we're heavily involved in. The technology of the future now around these new class of problems are things like artificial intelligence and quantum computing. And those are the technologies that are going to conquer the moonshots of our era.